a big team with a great history and also with a lot of experience. Um, to move this semi-final, I think, is 50-50. And uh, I think we can enjoy this round. And I think uh, for the two teams, uh, it's a very important moment. And uh, we have respect between us, I think, a big respect. What's the difference between the Unai Emery who was in Spain 10 years ago and the Unai Emery we see today? No, I wonder. <laughs> but uh, the same, uh, my, my career is every day thinking to progress, to learn. I, I was uh, four years there and I enjoy and I uh, work it, I learn, I uh, happen very good moments. And, uh, also, I have a, some, a lot of friends there, and uh, I saw and, and also sometimes in my life. Lauren, your last semi-final was a, a traumatic experience for you. Can you talk a bit about coming back from that setback and also how good it's been to be back in the team? Yeah, for me, it's a um, bad moment in my, uh, my career in, uh, in my life. Um, well, uh, you grow up as a as a football player, but uh, as well as a man, uh, you fight with uh, with yourself because you are a competitor and you want to come back at your at your level and maybe more. So I did this during uh, seven months and uh, I continue as well to to fight. It's not about my uh, my age or my uh, injury. It's because you know when you are a competitor, you want to win everything, and it was a big challenge for me to. To fight against my uh, my injury, and uh, I think I did well, and I'm uh, positive uh, with this. Uh, it's true, it's a, a new semi-final against a new uh, uh, Spanish uh, Spanish team, but uh, my life now is uh, is with this uh, this moment, and I need to to live with. So now uh, it's okay. You said before that you can learn a lot about yourself when you go through a bad experience. What did you learn about? I think uh, you know we uh, sometimes you are focused on um, small uh, small things you can be uh, um, not dangerous but not good for you as well uh, I learned about uh, my life about the people who are <coughs> around me and um, yes yeah, it's a difficult uh, experience but uh, I loved uh, it because um, sometimes uh, you your eyes are open uh, more than uh, than before, and uh, when you don't know the injury, uh, it's difficult to to know about this situation. I know this one as well with the World Cup, everything. But now it's okay; it's behind me, and I'm very positive about uh, about where um, where I am. Um, I always fight, uh, you know, for my club, for me and my family as well. So. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just happy and enjoy uh, my time, you know, on the pitch. It looks like Aaron Ramsey fell <coughs> out for the season. How big a setback is that at this stage? That's a crucial part of the season. Yes, it's uh, important. Don't uh, we cannot use him, but the injury is is coming. For some players like that, and and uh, we we have players for for to play with another, but really he he was in good moment when he he he's uh, taking this injuries. That brings to an end his Arsenal career. Do you have well, what your recollections of working with him first of all in his Arsenal career, and also do you still have any do you have any regrets that you do? For me, it's a good experience with every players and with him also, especially because uh, I think uh, uh, he he can transmit his his energy and uh, he can transmit me uh, his his heart like a red with Arsenal. And uh, I want to enjoy with him. 
I said to him one month ago, I want to, to do something important in, the, in your last uh, matches here, uh, last season here, at the moment, can come back maybe in the future. And I want to do something important with you. Uh, it's not with him in the pitch, on the pitch, but uh, yes, with him, with us. You've lost four of your last five games, as I say, a very important part of the season. Um, how do you lift your team out of that bad form and expect them to perform in such a big game with such high stakes against Valencia? Our focus is now the mismatch and only thinking this uh, first leg, but also thinking we are going to play uh, next week uh, there, the second leg. And we need uh, to be very, very focused with uh, this, uh, this round. Also, we are in the, in the Premier League with our possibilities, the top four. And I think we are in the great moment to enjoy working, working hard, focusing hard, our, our mindset uh, to each moment. And each moment is today the training, tomorrow the match. I think the players, they are very concentrated, very focused for that. Today the training was good, and I am uh, positive with, uh, with the player, with the team, with our moment. You answered this question before Leicester, but in view of the defeat at Leicester, is this now the best route into the Champions League by the local league? Uh, we need to use each moment uh, all our possibility. And it's tomorrow against Valencia the first. Lauren, can you explain the loss of form in the last five games? Yeah, difficult, you know. Uh, I think uh, in the last uh, two weeks uh, we were good you know, with uh, our result after Napoli. Uh, two games against Watford as well. Uh, I think good spirit, you know, we fight uh, each player for for the other. Um, we play well. And after as well, we, we play against uh, Crystal Palace, we lost at home. And I think we lost a little bit about uh, our confidence. And, uh, you know, to take back this confidence, is, uh, we need time. And, uh, yeah, we need to fight, uh, to work more and uh, to give more for, for the team. And uh, like this, uh, we can feel, you know, uh, between uh, each player, you know, this confidence come back and, uh, yeah, to be more freedom on the pitch and to give uh, uh, the commitment we, we, uh, we must do uh, on the pitch and to have the, the best result. Is there a problem among, among the players in the mentality in terms of the away form? You didn't have to go away to Valencia. And no, I don't think it's a mentality, you know, because uh, we want to fight uh, every game. Uh, everyone say against Napoli, it would be hard uh, to win away. And we did it because everyone fight uh, you know, on the pitch during 90 minutes. It was not easy, but uh, you know when you are uh, all together and focus and go to the same way, it's more it's more easier. After we playing so many games, you know, in the last uh, the last month, so maybe as well we are a little bit tired. But now we are in the um, final sprint, and uh, we need to be more. Uh, consistent and uh, to be fresh as well in uh, our head because it's like this if uh, we want to finish a stronger this season. Now, you've been very Yes, but for me, it's the present. The football, the past is can learn, can uh, have uh, took uh, experience, and after this, uh, do a new way, a new way, a new history, and I want to to create here a new history with uh, with all the competition. And now it's Europe League, and Europe League is uh, our way for one title and uh, our way for the possibility to go to Champions League. We have now two two possibilities. One is the, in the Premier League, and we are in this possibility, not in our hands, but uh, but we, we have a really good possibility if we win. And second is uh, Europe League, and we want to, to enjoy, we want to create uh, this semi-final like uh, something important. We need our support, uh, we need to create a big atmosphere this tomorrow in, in uh, Emirates, and also we are very... Uh, very excited for, for and with a big enthusiasm for the match tomorrow. Looking forward to play, to be with our supporter, to, to do the first uh, leg 90 minutes with a, 
with a big performance and with a good result, but we know it's going to be very difficult also. And I think we need all. We need the player, we need uh, all the speed, we need energy, we need our supporters. Is the same preparation for you? For me, it's much. Uh, it's uh, usually the same preparation. Uh, first is uh, thinking in in our performance, 70%, and after this, the 30% for, for the position. But it's not changing a lot. It's, uh, usually it's like that. How special is this tie for you, given that you were at Valencia yourself as a manager? The first special aspect of this tie is that it is a semi-final. In personal terms, of course, I'm very grateful to Valencia, not just to the club, but to the city as a whole. And that makes it particularly special for me. But that's not the most important thing here. We're just focused on the game. We have respect for Valencia and they're in good form. Martellino is a great coach who has built a very well-organized team with a strong mentality and they're difficult to break down. They're also experienced in terms of playing in semifinals and finals. And they beat Arsenal in the Cup Winners' Cup back in 1980. So in terms of their history, they have a Cup Winners' Cup. For me, I see it as two clubs that have very important histories in Europe and this semi-final is going to be contested. 100% by both teams. Yeah, of course, Aran, uh, he played so many years here. Um, so important for for the club, for um, the player, because every time, you know, when uh, we start the season, we have some new player, and I think he, he gives a lot for the adaptation of the new player. And uh, what I like with Aran, it's, uh, the, we know, he, he signed for, uh, for Juventus, but um, he's uh, still a professional, you know. Always fight for for the club and for the team, you know, because sometimes there are some players who stop to fight for for this team, and I think he loved this club, so that's why he, he stay a hundred percent, you know, for uh, for us, and uh, it's uh, the, the great uh, mentality, uh, character, and uh, I like it. So yeah. really of course. Yeah. I think I will say um, the first um, the first FA Cup we won together against uh, Elf City. He scored an extra time, and uh, yeah, he gave us uh, this trophy, and uh, it's good memory. So we keep this for for the end. Given the current position in the league is <laughs> is the Europa League your best option for qualifying for the Champions League well both options are possible for us be it in the Europa League or the league it's in our hands in the Europa League and we're going to have to give it our rule in this competition it's the semi-final we experienced the same stage last year. We're going to give everything in the Europa League and there's a trophy to, to try to get our hands on at the end of it. We're going to do everything we can. We have two very tough games against Valencia coming up. So we'll need to be well organized, get a good result at home. But we know it will be tough over there as well. We'll have to be focused, play well as a team, particularly given that our recent results haven't gone so well. 
and confidence has dropped slightly but, but we are professionals we battle all season long to go as far as we can be it in the league or in cups this, on this occasion in the Europa League we've, worked, we've been working very hard to get back into the Champions League possibly through the Europa League if we don't manage it that would be a shame so we just have to see how the next few games go Well, now, how important would it be for you to win this Europa League? In football, we get chances to improve and achieve great things. So in this case, this gives us a chance to play in the Champions League. We would love to win this Europa League. When you aren't in the Champions League, you might be in the Europa League, which, for certainty, when we can't qualify for the Champions League, it gives us the chance to fight for a trophy. And that's our current situation. We want to play in the Champions League, but at the moment we have this trophy that we are playing for. Valencia are a club with fantastic history. And they've had success in the Cup Winners' Cup and UEFA Cup. Arsenal have a Cup Winners' Cup as well in the history books. So it's a very important competition that both sides are very focused on. That's how I see it personally. I enjoy this competition, have great respect for our opponents, particularly Marcelino. Um, we started competing in the second division in Spain together 12 years ago, and we've faced each other in key games many times in La, in La Liga and also in Europe. Tomorrow we're going to bring our teams together in this situation. Of course, Valencia are going to be tough opponents for us, so we're going to need to be fully focused, not just in the games as a whole, but in every single minute. We are in the group 20 players, and he is he's in, in, in the group. But we changed it also before for the injuries, for for do some rotation, and we won. And when we did the same and we lost, we can't stop in this moment or we can't remember before. And the first argumentation to change is because uh, we had some injuries. For example, Aaron Ramsey, Nacho, Mesut, Sandy. But we 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 won and we lost with the same player. We did when when one system, different system. And I, I am not doing the argumentation when we win or we we lost for this lineup. Fair because at the moment we are in the semi final. And second, his injuries, the previous is not not okay for, for this date. I, I answer you, I think. Thank you. Uma, will, it, will it be there tomorrow night? And what sort of reception should the fans give him? Is he going to the game? He is with us this morning also. Uh, I spoke with him two minutes uh, yesterday. He is with us and uh, he feels Arsenal and he, he wants to enjoy with us 
de las machas. Yes, and we spoke uh, both about that, the possibility to do something important, but uh, the issue is like that. It's coming the same for 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 Bellerín, for Rob Holding, for for Danny Wolbeck, and when it's coming. Yes, you, you need to play 90 minutes thinking also we are going to play another 90 minutes. First is for tomorrow. It's not all uh, finished. And also because uh, first, if you can win, it's perfect. If you can win, not uh, receiving goal is perfect, but uh, can happen all. And we need also to manage manage 90 minutes with good performance, with be solid, with be strong, with uh, be clear, clever in our, our mind with the possibilities, with the result, but our idea tomorrow is to win. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye.